So we're starting with Polaroids. And um, this, is, this is one of your first projects, right? When you first started out as a photographer? Yeah, I was, uh, I had a studio space in downtown LA. Um, I was shooting a lot of pack film uh, Polaroid, uh, three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Um, I had a Mamiya RZ67 uh, um, medium format camera. And uh, back then you could get all kinds of uh, pack film. Uh, Polaroid was making it uh, um, very consistently and it was very popular and it, you could get it anywhere. And I really loved the, the, the tones of the black and white Polaroid film. And I was curious if uh, Polaroid made bigger film uh, and I found out that they did. So I went from pack film all the way to eight by 10. Um, and so I was doing a lot of studio work, uh, portraiture and uh, in those early studio days. And then I decided to take the big Polaroids out on the road with me. And so I had a Polaroid processor, which plugs in. It's a kind of special process for the bigger Polaroid films and discovered that to take the big films out on the road, I would have to have a hand crank uh, manual processor. So I got one of those and I had an SUV at the time and I had a clothesline in the back and um, I just kind of set out on the road in California with a bunch of boxes of the big Polaroid film, my eight by 10 camera, and just started making exposures for the first time with that film outside of a studio setting, a controlled lighting kind of situation. And um, that was my first time kind of documenting um, the, the landscape. Um, and it happened to be with the, the large format Polaroid films, which I absolutely loved a, a lot. 